What's up, YouTube? It's Torheim bringing you episode four of our How to Survive in Minecraft. And let's see. We left off last time with the lovely farm down here. And let's go check it out. See how our wheat is doing. And our... Oh, well. It hasn't grown much since we've been down here last. But then again, I haven't been playing until right now when I started recording. So hopefully eventually we'll have some pumpkins and some melons. Which that's what we're going to go look for today. Today we are going to go exploring. And I'm going to show you guys. Because we need to get ourselves some iron. And we need some more wood. And then because we want to you know, eventually expand. So we're going to look for another place to build another location but before that I do want to add something to the roof of this so let's make sure I have some dirt and we'll just use the uh, we'll use the cobblestone and just to make it easier to find this place as we explore we're going to build ourselves a little a little tower yeah, yeah, yeah I know and this way hopefully we can see this from a distance and know where our home is our, our temporary home right now And then we cover this back up. And let us get some provisions so we can go exploring. So we want to keep cobblestone with us, at least a stack. Um, we still have six cooked pork chops, so that's good. We don't need the glass. We're going to need the coal, at least half of it. And we're going to need some wood. Uh, we'll bring the string just in case. We have at least two pickaxes. Uh, we're going to want another shovel. And the axe should be fine. So let us make ourselves some more sticks. And let us make ourselves, and we'll make both, one more pick, one more shovel, one more shovel. And we need some more torches. Alright, so, with that said, and we better make one more sword just in case. Because our current sword is about halfway. What I'm looking at here when I look at these weapons and tools is, I know I forgot to mention it previously, but I'm looking at the durability on these. Right here, you can see the wear damage on your weapons and your items. Is This little green bar represents how much you've used it. It has a life, basically or durability to the items and our current items have some of them have low durability some of them do not but as you use items or as you get hit in your armor and stuff you will use durability and so what we have to do is essentially replace the items as they wear out right now I'm trying to make sure we don't have another creeper sneak up on us and blow up our home again or well at least give us a new front door like the last one did which is nice of them of course but still we already had a door we didn't need a new one so we're gonna pick a direction to go 
And I'm thinking we're gonna go this way because we need some more wood. Ah! I jumped and hit hurt myself. Oh no! Skeletons! No, you don't want to shoot me. There's one. Go ahead, there we go, block. Okay. Now, fortunately, they should burn up in the daylight, but when they're in the water like that, they do not. But looky here. We have a sheep. But what we do have is some more... Are you multi... Are you... I can't tell if it's pink or white. Either way. We have more some more sugar cane now. Oh, we better eat at least. So we regain our health. But we want to go get ourselves some trees. And you can see we have the trees that we've already been getting. Regular old oak. And then we also have the tiger stripe trees. And it does give you different color planks. And it will also give you different color stairs, different color half slabs. Uh, so it's really cool. You can actually do quite a bit with the different color woods now. Um, there's four color woods. You have jungle trees, tiger stripe trees. Um, you also have, or I guess these are birch. I think is what they're called. Oak, birch, jungle, and um, I think they're... Oh, I can't remember the name of them. I'll show you when we find them. That's what I'll do. But we're just picking up some resources, so we have them available. You can never have too much wood, as it is the main resource for doing things. And you can see our little tower thing over there, so we know that that's the direction of our home. Let's kill some cows. And you notice we just got some leather as well. Leather can be used to make armor. You can make iron armor, diamond armor, leather armor, gold armor, and that would be it, armor-wise. But at least... I'm not going to kill any more cows. I'm going to go plant the rest of this sugar cane I just picked up. I'm not going to kill you, Mr. Sheepy. Not yet, at least. Wahahaha. I really should put a door back in here. But for now, we'll just do that. Yeah, I'll go down here first and plant this, and then we'll make a day again with the bed. And we're going to go find ourselves a cave. So, sugar cane. Woo, almost enough. Let's take this one piece. And plant it. Alright, and... We'll do this here. With bone mill, you can come over here and grow these to full. And then we get the seeds. Oh, we got six seeds. Perfect. And we can come over here, plant those, and voila. So we'll let that stuff grow. We have enough uh, wheat to make one piece of bread. As you can see, three wheat makes one bread. And we'll put the seeds in here. And let's actually drop off the birch. And let's make it daytime. And let's go find ourselves a cave.
Well, since nobody's gonna get in there where we're going, we're just gonna do that. All right. You're supposed to be dying. Thank you. Another bone for us? Shoot me. Oh. I did totally forget to make some armor. But we'll need one of these anyways. Oh, I still need one more leather in order to make an armor. I can make boots, I guess. Oh, look, zombie. Burn! Thank you. Zombie flesh. Which you can eat if you need to. So, that's where we currently live. And we are currently going this way. So... I took a screenshot. Whoa! My memory's not as good as it used to be some days, so... I just want to be able to remember where our home is in case I forget which direction we're walking. But I guess it wouldn't be too hard as long as I look for the giant hill structure that we're next to. Oh, looky, looky, looky. More sand. Uh, yeah, you guys. Oh, we even have a jungle. That is awesome. Let's go grab us some jungle wood while we're over here. Look, cows. Ah, and a skeleton, you little jerk. Come on, come get me. I forget with the new AI, they won't come out into the... Uh... They will not come out into the sun anymore. But I'll kill them myself. Can I get some more leather? Yes! So we'll go ahead and throw this down. And I can either make a helmet or boots. I think we're going to go for boots, actually. And now we got boots. Oh, looks like uh, there's something wrong with the login server because I'm in a Steve skin instead of my Batman skin. Yes, I normally have a Batman skin because Batman is the awesome stuff. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You think we'd have some caves around over here? And as you can see, now that we have some boots on, we have a little bit of armor there above our hearts. You can see. Um, actually, I'm not going to go into the jungle just yet. Jungles can be really bad. Um, the problem with jungles is things don't die because of all the tree coverage. So it's kind of risky sometimes. My main goal right now, though, is to find ourselves... I want to find a cave. Oh, that's really cool. It's also going to be really, really dangerous. Those shadow effects are not my friend. Cave, wow. Awesome area for caves, though. I like it. We can build a house over here, I think. Oh, wow. Check out that structure. Wow. I think we're going to build our, our permanent home over this this way. There's all these cave systems that we can use for stuff. We got this area over there we can use. That's freaking awesome. We got this area here that we can utilize. Oh, let's see what's down here. Ooh, badness. 
Badness, badness, badness. And if we light it up before things can spawn. It's better. Because we don't want to deal with a bunch of mobs spawning to kill us. Mob spawning can be painful. No bueno. Okay. Light up over here a little bit. Looks like this just leads back up. That's awesome. Very nice. Okay. So far, so good. Now we can adventure deeper into the rabbit hole. There's some iron right there. Very, very nice. More iron. I hear badness. Die. No blowy ups. Okay, this is going to be a busy cave to explore. So we're going to block that off for now. Ah! Zombert! Zombert scared me. Fine then. I mean, I have a sword, but I have an axe. Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm just clicking like crazy, but I want to get everything kind of covered over first. Alright, so what I want to do actually is go get our bed back. And we're going to move over this way. Because this is a nice area. It's a good place for us to start building at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wasting blocks, I know. It's terrible wasting the blocks. Um, build ourselves a few more torches here. And we need to eat. Okay. And we need to throw down our bench. Uh, but we're not going to do it down here. We're going to go up. Alright, it's still daytime. So we're going to grab this iron and we're going to hurry back to our other house. Where we can smelt the iron that we've picked up here. We can smelt our iron. Grab our other stuff. Stuff. And... Oh, I hear a spitter. We can grab everything else we have and prepare to move over here to a more permanent location. And I can leave this for next time because I have plenty of coal. Oh, but I do need to make a sword. Sword. Um, oh, I'm out of sticks. Well, what am I thinking? No, I'm thinking too slow. Okay. It's not in the same spot. That's fine. I'll deal with that later. Alright. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, no. I thought it was nighttime. I was going to be like, no! We're all going to die! Let's light this up a little bit. Help keep things from spawning over here while we're gone. Or even when we get back. Nice water. Gotta love the lighty, glitchy effect things that happen. Okay. I want that spider, though. Where did he go? Spiders have a chance to drop string. I need one more string to make a bow. A bow will make it easier to kill baddies that don't want to die. Like skeletons. Oh, that tickled. 
As you can tell, when you jump and fail to land the jump, you take damage. Like I just did. Ah, crap, it's gonna get dark before we're done. I guess I can kill all those guys and make myself another bed. It's not what I would like to do, though. Uh, I guess I can... Find a good place to build a temporary structure. To survive the night. I run out of what I was wanting to use. I'll just mine out some more dirt here in a minute. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Oh, Mr. Piggy can get out of the sheep. You are a pink sheep. Awesome. Unfortunately, Mr. Sheep, you must go. I need to collect some dirt. Because the thing about this is that if sheep can get up there, so can probably a spider or a zombie. There we go. All right. Um, oh, they can get in there too, huh? Not good. There. Ha ha. Now we just have to wait out the night. But until that moment comes, we can clear out a little bit of this. What I need to do is survey the area and find the best possible place to build our little home over here. Right, that's only a single wide gap. This is actually a really good area to build a house. It's nice and scenic. We can always... Actually, I'm thinking I might build it on top of that big giant uh, area that we saw up there. And then we can always expand down later. I thought that area that we saw was really cool. I should have brought my bed with me though. And the thing is, I don't want to kill the pink sheep for the wool because I want to breed the pink sheep. And I think it's easier just to breed an existing sheep than try to die on my own sheep eventually. So that's what I'm going to do, is wait. I need some more uh, building materials anyway, so this gives me a chance to get some of those. What I probably should do is build a temporary home again over here and find a spot to actually start a quarry where we can mine down for diamonds and ores and stone and everything else. And have a more permanent location to do that. And in this area here we may end up finding a mine shaft or we may end up finding uh, any number of things down here emeralds because it's the I believe it's extreme hills biome yep so in the extreme hills biome you have a chance of finding emeralds uh, so it's actually we picked a pretty good spot over here I like it thus far I mean the other place we were at was nice and all but um, I think I can do more over here actually I can build a furnace and cook the rest of the meat that I have And we can come up here. All right. Now, now nothing can stand up here. They can stand here, but it's not likely to happen. 
And I don't think we're going to really have to deal with anything coming up on us here. Um, that could be a little more dangerous, having something fall down there, but... I'm not going to be too worried about it. There. I think we're pretty safe. And we can see the sky. So we'll know as soon as it is no longer nighttime. In that case, we're going to continue digging around here. For building materials. All right. And so far, so good. And my shovel just died. I did leave my workbench, but we'll create another one. And we'll create a couple tools. And we're going to create ourselves a furnace. And that'll give us there we go, perfect. Give ourselves another shovel. Not like we needed it, but still. All right, and 12 of those. OK. Let's see. We're just building ourselves a little way to look out. I'm pretty sure that that is the top of that. So, okay. Yeah, because there's some sheep up there. So that is the sky. Not a bad little area. Now, if anything does fall down here, we can just come over here and kill it real fast. And that's our way to look up and see. And there we go. All right. So the plan right now, you guys, is we're going to go back, gather the rest of our base at the other place, grab the wheat, or grab the seeds, the wheat, the reeds, our bed, whatever's in the current chest. Actually, we should probably build another chest over here. to leave stuff in as we go. And then we'll come back here. And we can grab this stuff again as we come back. Oh, I can smelt that iron too. That'd be great. And let's grab the iron. Let that smelt. We'll probably need a little bit more coal to go in there. Yep, one more piece should do it. And we'll create a couple more torches. All right. So what we're going to do now then is we went exploring a little bit, found a new area. That's awesome. The sun's coming up, so we're going to go back to our main base here in a minute. I can now create an iron sword. Actually, I need one more to create an iron chest. But I think we'll have enough to create... Let's see... Yeah, we need eight for a chest. Seven for some pants. We'll make some pants first. Because where there's a little iron ore, we'll, we should be able to find more iron ore over here. I'm not too worried about that. 
And as you can see, we're already level 8, so when we finally get to the uh, enchanting bit of Minecraft, we'll have quite a few levels to enchant. So, pants are in this type of a shape. And of course, you get iron leggings. And now we have iron leggings and some leather boots. And as you can see, we now have three little iron dudes of health. And our sword is darn air gone. So, let's grab ourselves some wood. Get ourselves some more sticks. Oh wait, I forgot to grab some cobble. Cobble, cobble, cobble. Cobble! Alright. Okay, and so now we have another sword over here in case this one fails. So let's go find our other base. So to be able to find this a little easier, we're going to mark it with some torches like that. And we'll know that it's right above this hole here. So it should be easy enough to find that. Now we just need to figure out where we're at. So we know which direction to go. To get back. Okay, I think it was... Let's see, we came in... Oh, see? Mr. Skelly. Die already! Thank you. As I'm killing with my shovel, that was a waste of a shovel. No biggie, he's still dead. Alright. We came in from this way, I believe. Yeah. So, we go there. I should have made some more little pillar or beacon type things to get back to our other place, but I'm not too worried. Because I don't think we really went too far from where it was. Yes, come out into the sunlight. Name. Mr. Cows? Hello? Moo. Moo cow. Right. And keep going. This is the fun part. You gotta find your way back. Oh yes, I hear you, Mr. Zombie. Chase me into the light, I dare you. Unless you're underneath me. Then you won't be chasing me anywhere. Oh look, more sugar cane. Awesome. Okay, so there's a jungle. That means we're this way. This is the fun part about Minecraft. You get to explore all this terrain that's randomly generated every time you create a new world. And so, even if you've explored all the terrain around you, as you, uh, as you make your world grow by traveling, you create new chunks, so your world is always an ever-expanding, ever-unknown place to explore and travel. Which makes it really fun, because, you know, you basically can have always have something new to look forward to, or new to explore. And it's just fun to create things. You know, it's fun to play a game where your mind is your limitation, honestly. And I think that's what really draws me back to Minecraft again and again, is the fact that it's all limited to what I can imagine. It's not some predestined set of rules that you have to do it this way, otherwise it's not going to work. You know, it's play it the way you want, do what you want, create what you want, it's all up to you. Which is what I think is what draws me to this game. So, you've been wonderful down here, but I'm moving. So we're going to move. And I could pick up all this dirt. Why not? Dirt is always good to keep with you. Mm. 
Not like there's not plenty around. I did build all those stairs, but... Meh. It's not worth trying to pick them all back up. Alright, so this should be pretty easy to get back. Because a lot of this stuff will stack. Okay, maybe not. Well... Let us see, let us see. So... Well, we can always leave... Leave a sword here. Leave a pickaxe. Just in case. We'll leave the one arrow we have. Um, the sapling. We'll leave the sapling and we'll leave this sapling. I can always find more roses, but we'll bring it anyways. Rotten flesh we'll leave. We'll leave these things. So we're going to leave this just in case we ever have to come back here for whatever reason. It doesn't hurt to have something to come back to. And we'll leave that as our very first little kind of a structured house. And now we're going to head back to our new hidey hole where we're going to start creating our permanent home. And so what I'm going to do is once we get back, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing some caving. We're going to do some cave exploring in the area. We're going to put our bed down, set our spawn point, so in case we die, we come back there. Uh, and then that way we can start exploring the hills around our new home. And hopefully find some more iron, build us a full iron set of armor. Hopefully we can get ourselves a bow soon. Ah, uh, we gotta go that way. See, I'm already losing my sense of, my sense of direction. Ooh, no, that way. Haha, I was semi-right. So we want to build a... Ooh, I'm low on food. No wonder I can't run. It's another thing to remember, too. If you're low on food, you cannot... You can't sprint. You can sprint by pressing the double... Double... Uh, double tapping your W key, which is your forward movement key. And that'll let you sprint. But if you're low on food, you have a hard time sprinting. And so you end up not being able to sprint. But luckily they have potions in the game you can make at some point which will let you sprint better. Well, it's called a potion of swiftness. And swiftness potions are awesome. And we're back. That wasn't too hard actually. I thought it was going to be harder than that, but it wasn't. So just so nothing can follow us for a little bit, we'll put that there. And... I don't want anything coming there. Oh, we didn't pick up the extra chest, but that's alright. Oh, that's because we left stuff in it. Oak. And we're going to make ourselves a double chest here. And we're going to put everything back in here. And we'll do, we'll sort out what we want after we're done. When we decide what we're going to do next. But for now, we need to throw our bed down. Which we'll put the bed right down there. And But we can only sleep at night. So what I'm going to do here, you guys, is I'm going to call an episode here. We made it back. We have our somewhat little nesty hole here going on. Um, what we're going to do next, the next time we come back, is we're going to find... We're going to go scouting around up top for the more permanent place we want to go. And we're also going to go some, do some cave exploring. And that's going to be our next episode. But hey everybody, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.